Hello, my name is Nicola Green and I am joined today by Rebecca Lockwood, who is a success coach and also the founder of Her Success Tribe. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Thank you for coming on today. Oh, it's so exciting. So what got you into being a motivational success coach then? Oh gosh, so I, um, I ran a business for the last three years and have got a background in sales. So I trained and motivated sales teams. Um, I found in my business, although I absolutely loved it and I was, I was high on the personal development, on the growth, um, I massively held myself back. And when I realised that, I realised that there must be so many other people who do that, so many other women especially, who hold themselves back without even realising. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what stepped me into the, the coaching world and personal development. So you work with women? Yes. Why yeah. women? <laughs> Female entrepreneurs. Um, I think because of the experience that I had, especially after having my daughter, I um, experienced firsthand what it's like to have a daughter, or have children, run a business, have lots of pressure um, and I think because of that I can relate so much easier to women than I do with men. Yeah. And why do you think people come to coaches and you know people like yourself? What is it they're searching for? So many of my clients come to me and say that they're just searching for something, they don't even know what it is. Um, sometimes they say they just feel like there's a massive brick wall in front of them and they just can't get past it. Um, and I, p personally, my highest value is growth. Growth, personal development, forward moving, learning, always taking new things in. And uh, quite often when my clients come to me, they're searching for something and what they're really searching for is that personal development, is that growth as a person. Um, and when they understand that, it kind of feels as though they've already found what they're looking for without actually looking anywhere outside of themselves. Mm -hmm. So your role is then to have self-belief in those women and show them that you can because obviously with having children yourself there are a lot of pressures out there about women I mean how do you feel about women being at home and not having a career and because it's it's quite prevalent now isn't it coaching for women and empowering women yeah I think it all depends on how you describe a career as well like do you, is a career going out to work is a career working from home because I work from home and I have my daughter I have my daughter three days a week we were just having this conversation weren't yeah. we and um, I'd still say that I've got a career mm -hmm. so I don't think it, it, you can have it all like you can be a mum you can stay at home with your kids you can still have a career you can still do all the things that you love doing like there's, there is no limit if, if you really want it you can make it work you've also you used to run a successful clothing business as well didn't you yes and again <laughs> w were there the same pressures or is it easier now that you're working from home and um, I worked from home with that business as well so I um, I'd run that business for about a year before I had my daughter mm -hmm. And then having my daughter was like a big unexpected event that I just didn't know. I didn't know how it was going to happen. I didn't know what was going to come up, and I didn't really expect the biggest, you know, the big changes to come mm -hmm. internally as well as out outwards. Um, so yeah, I, I I ran that from home, and it it was that business for me always felt really hard. Like it always felt like I was I was. It felt like I was searching for something, mm -hmm. like I was searching for something outside of myself and no matter what I did I couldn't fulfil that search mm -hmm. um, until I started the coaching. So although it, I might not necessarily have changed the way that I work, the work that I do has changed. Mm -hmm. So it just feels so much more aligned, so much more purposeful as you'll know all about as well. What motivates you Rebecca? What motivates me? Um, so many things, working with other women and seeing the impact that the work that I do, that I, that I, the work that I do has on them and their lives, and um, especially when they come into me with this search, um, and then when they find it, and you know, for example, I had a client who came to me who just couldn't see that she wanted to help impact other people's lives, and when I suggested it to her, she was taken aback a little bit. And she sent me a message about an hour after our session mm. saying, I spoke to my husband about our session and he said to me, well, isn't that what you're already doing already? And she said, I, I couldn't believe that I didn't see it for myself. I finally feel like I'm not searching anymore. And she used them exact words. And that's, 
that's so like that's when you just know that you're doing the right thing um, and my daughter as well like seeing her and seeing her grow up and her develop she's only two so like she's developing into such a character she's definitely yeah. very um strong-willed mm -hmm. determined <laughs> yeah determined like a mum then yeah so Definitely. there's lots of women out there that are lacking confidence, that have got children and, you know, what message have you got for those ladies out there? Just do it. Like, everything that we do is a choice. Like, we've got a choice that we can make to, to, to step up and achieve the things that we want. Like, I think making that choice that the time is now, like, the time's now. We can achieve anything that we want. We can go for them biggest, wildest, scariest mm -hmm. looking dreams. Like, it's not impossible. Like, I always believe, and this is a big Les Brown quote, I don't know if you follow Les, he's amazing. Yeah. Um, he says that the dreams that you've got were given to you, like they weren't given to anybody else. So regardless of what anybody else says to you, regardless of what anybody else believes, if you've got that dream and you want to make it happen, then you can. Definitely. So have you got any <laughs> tips for the audience out there? Maybe three tips that you use that would they could implement right now? Yeah, them three things, like decide, make the choice, mm -hmm. like just make a choice that the time is now, like decide now, mm -hmm. the time's now, write it down, look at it every day and feed your mind and your soul, surround yourself with people who are all doing the same thing, who are all believing in each other, who are all fighting for the dreams and who are motivated and just keep that tunnel vision because like I said, you can make anything happen. The dreams that people have got are for a reason. So what do you see for the future then for you and other women? So um, for me, I've got a book coming out this month, mm -hmm. which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm featured in Forbes as the hottest women to look out for in 2018. That's really exciting. Um, I've got a baby due in March. Wow. I don't know if you can see my bump here. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, <laughs> and we're launching Her Success Tribe the community. It's um, a community focused online and offline. Mm -hmm. It's very personal development and coaching focused. We're launching in Wales. We're launching in Huddersfield. We're launching in um, South Africa, Castleford, um, in the UK and throughout the world. So yeah. that's really exciting. Thank you for being such an inspiration for all those women out there, Rebecca, that feel Aww. that they can't do it. And now, as a result, you've come on and shown them that, that you can. So I'd like to say thank you. My name's Nicola Green, and join me next time on The Weekly Wound Up. Thank <laughs> you.